off to brunch because it's April 12th and April 12th is the first day that pub gardens are open. It feels like a huge step, even though I know we're ready for it. It feels huge. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go. Thank you. <laughs> currently planning a video. I have been at my desk most of the morning, but I've got dressed, done my things, because, did you hear my wrist click then? <laughs> because I was gonna film a video, but I just, I'm not in the mood to do talking, vlogging really today. I'm just feeling a bit wiped out. Obviously yesterday we had brunch and it was lovely. And then we sat on George's terrace, just had a nice time. But um, yeah, I did basically write off Tuesday, but I've actually been fine. Like I drank a lot of water. I stopped drinking at a reasonable time, went to bed at 11, so I'm okay. But I'm gonna film a TikTok because I got a load of lovely stuff gifted from the lovely people at Cezanne and I'd love to show you it, but I didn't want to make it boring and like laborious and just like buy this, buy this. So I thought I'd do a little like TikTok to try and make it a bit more entertaining. So yeah, I had a lot of like tasks in my inbox to do. When I say I'm doing emails, I'm actually not really doing emails half the time. I'm doing the tasks in the emails. <laughs> so like my manager might reach out to me and my manager's called James, by the way, he's great. Um, or Georgie, his assistant, will reach out and be like, hey Luz, uh, for this project, we need you to submit uh, your treatment, uh, which is like your a response to the brief and what you're going to make and how you're going to make it what key points you're going to touch on so there's stuff with sponsored work or there's stuff with this uh project i'm working on at the moment um for some reason i just lump that all in as emails but it's not really it's doing the things that need to be done in the emails i can hear our bell going off so i'm going to run downstairs and get that so yeah that is why i'm in an entirely suzanne outfit today anyway i just had lunch i had some soup lentil soup <laughs> most exciting lunch but we don't have any food in the house right now and yeah i'm going to record this reel and then i'm not doing any more work after that it's about three o'clock so i'll just do the reel i imagine that will take like 40 minutes you would not believe how long it takes to make an Instagram post, a reel or a TikTok. You know, we talk about YouTube videos and we're like, you know, a few, an hour or so to, or I say like two to three hours to set up and then film and get ready. Cause obviously girls put on their face. I shouldn't really use gender terms as well. Cause there's loads of really stunning men and non-binary people who make great content. <laughs> um, with makeup on, but anyway. But anyway, yeah, so we kind of understand there's a few hours to set up and film and a few hours to edit just a normal vlog. But then with um, TikTok and stuff, it feels instant, but it's just not. It takes way longer than you think, especially when you're not used to it, like me. I'm still learning how to use the editing software and, and stuff like that on the apps, so. It does just take me a little bit longer. And finally, I'm going to a beer garden with um, Jack's friends. So yeah, that is the plan. breakfast I had a bit of a throwback breakfast I had um, a porridge with banana and peanut butter 
which is such a like university breakfast for me. This morning's main task is to film the rest of a video. I'm so puffy because I drank some wine yesterday at the bar. I've been trying not to drink during the week, but obviously this <laughs> reopening has kind of thrown that off a bit. So hopefully I won't drink tonight, tomorrow or Friday and try and like make up for a bit of time. I just don't like how I feel the next day after I drink anymore. The amount I've been drinking over COVID is not a crazy large amount in terms of each individual time I drink, but cumulatively it's just so much. And I think I'm really feeling it in my body. I think it's important to be honest about stuff like that because no one's perfect and obviously alcohol's a journey. I don't abuse it like I used to, but like definitely I'm trying to find my feet with it and just reduce a lot more. I always think of like, the older generation were the kind that would have a glass of wine every night. And yeah, it's definitely impacting my bod. Anyway, also I want to show you my outfit today because it's a bit radical for me. I don't know if you can see me, <laughs> but I am wearing some new uh, vintage 501s that I found on eBay. And I did all my measurements and they just about fit. Like I could do with them getting a little bit of stretch, but they're so cool. <laughs> I love them, they're so cool. And they're a mid-rise, which I haven't had a mid-rise jean maybe since I was like 12. So I've got them on with uh, just a sweater tucked in. I always see this look on like the really cool LA girls. So like, this is my this is my time to shine. In the mug today is a coffee with a bit of real milk for once. I rarely ever buy real milk, but um, Jack went and bought the almond milk that just falls apart in coffee. So I've popped some real milk in this one because ooh, when it like curdles and it's just, ugh, no thank you. As you can see from over here, we have had a lot of parcels arriving. That's another thing, I'm feeling a lot of um, fatigue around online ordering. I realized just how often I would uh, choose to buy something in person rather than order online before this year. And now it feels like all you can do is order online. And so it just feels so wasteful. Like I think about just adding the extra air miles um, and all the packaging, oh my God, it's just a bit like, ooh. But again, we had to do some ordering to get just some of the bits for the house that we need because we don't have everything. Oh my God, another thought. <laughs> and another, and another. So as you can see, we, we just haven't sorted anything here yet, by the way. We've got a way to go. So I was watching Jen Im's vlog earlier. If you don't know, Jen is just an amazing creator. Watched her for years, so good. Does similar stuff to me, but in the way that a Virgo would. It's just so polished, so um, rewarding to watch, really good. So if you like me, you will love her content. But yeah, I was watching her vlog, um, her April vlog, and she's talking about how she's moving house and her parents gave her some boxes which they saved um, from the first time she moved house. You know, they just stored them away because they knew, you know, she'd need moving boxes at some point and if she didn't, her brother might. And I was thinking like, this is what sustainability actually is. Like it just made me think a lot about how sustainability is like the buzzword that has been super glamorized. But actually a lot of our parents' behaviors were sustainable and for some reason we just lost it in like the hyper commodification of like, I would say like the early 2000s. I feel like we lost a lot of those habits, like saving moving boxes, cause you know you will need them or like borrowing something from someone. It sounds so basic, but that's really what, what reducing your impact is. It's not necessarily not going on holidays. I think it's a lot more of that other like low waste behavior that isn't as performative. So those are today's morning thoughts. A lot about impact and waste. <laughs> A final thing is I have been going a bit eBay happy while trying to get a nice decor for the house. We've got these two huge sets of shelves in the living room that need stuff on them. And obviously we'll build that up over time, but I wanted to get some cute stuff. And um, Emma Haro, if you follow her, she's amazing on Instagram, uh, got me looking at Murano vases because she has some gorgeous ones. And they're all vintage, I think they're from Italy and they all look so unique, they're hand blown and so different. And I bid on this one and somehow won it. I thought it was gonna be sage green, but it's actually um, like a very dark green and white. I just think it's so cool. I guess I'll just put like one or two flowers in it, but it's just so cool. And it's got the Murano seal on the bottom as well. So that's how you know it's real. Like how cool is this vase? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Later is very exciting. I'm having my hair cut. I'm seeing Michelle. I'm so excited. <laughs>
good morning. Today I've got a very grandma on top, party on the bottom kind of outfit. <laughs> Do I know what's going on? No, not really. Am I here for it? Because I'm not going anywhere today. Yes. I've realised now that um, I associate an almond milk flat white with uh, lockdown because I would get one of these and go on a walk every day in January and February. Oh, not every day, but like three times a week. So now I just taste this particular almond flat white and I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's time to have a walk. The sky is super heavy and overcast today and I think it's playing with my brain a bit. I'm feeling very like, lethargic and spaced out um, and not very motivated, but an edit is a good one because I get really sucked into the edit. So as soon as I start, I'll be just going for like hours, which is good. And I've got to do emails. I also asked for a response to um, my blood test the other day from the doctor. So hopefully, I get the numbers back on where my thyroid's at. And basically, I think I've talked about this before, so I won't dwell on it, but I'm subclinical hyperthyroid, so I'm not in the normal range, but not bad enough to be medicated. Or if I was in like the US or Israel, I would be medicated, but here we don't, and I totally understand why, because you don't wanna start being dependent on thyroxine, like it's just not a fun drug. At the end of the day, like I don't wanna be on it early. It's just not worth it. So I just go and get checked up like two or three times a year just see how I'm doing. And also, as you know, like through my diet and my lifestyle, I really try and be careful. I supplement, I try and eat well, I gave up gluten, you know, all that stuff. And I think that's also helped my thyroid be as healthy as possible right now. But even then I have the thyroid of an 80 year old woman, so. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, I try not to worry about it too much or use it too much as a scapegoat for how I'm feeling just because I don't think it's good for my brain to do that. But yeah, I'm gonna go do my emails and then I'm gonna edit this video. Wow, so exciting. <laughs> right, you. Everyone can't wait to watch this video. <laughs> You're I was so rude. And had this <laughs> I don't know if it's very exciting to anyone but I'm having an absolute shitter of a work day. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's happened. My productivity is in the floor. I've had a series of bits of bad news and I'm just a bit like, mm, about it all. Um, and it feels like my brain is completely clouded over. I just went for a wee as well and Jack used some Harpic in the toilet. It smells like we've accidentally made mustard gas. I really hope we haven't. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we have, I did text him to ask. It feels like there's, I don't know how everyone else experiences brain fog, but it feels like there's like something covering like this entire part of my face and my peripheral vision shit as well. Ugh, I don't know. But I did also check and I am during my period in four days, so it could be PMS. So I'm doing that thing to get me off my phone where I make a cup of tea, have a piece of chocolate as well to get my sugars up, and then I sit down and edit. Oh, I just feel like really closed up in my head. I feel like I need a head massage and like pressure point stuff and aromatherapy. This camera died this morning, so there's one really weird clip of me working out. I did a 45 minute bar class this morning, which was killer, but I feel so good now. Um, this is the sun, it is blinding. Okay, so we're having some fringe issues today. Tried to style it, didn't work. I've accepted it, we're moving on. Um, I'll try and do something with it a bit later because I might be going to meet Hobby and Lucy and Lydia throwback if you even remember I'm friends with them well done I don't think I've seen them in maybe like a year and a half it's been a really long time but I love those guys so much so it'd be really cool if we get to I am finishing the edit and I've got a call actually in 20 minutes we have a weekly call to discuss the thing we're doing and so that will happen Guess which clever clogs brought her camera to Lucy and Lydia's and completely forgot to film? That would be me. I was with YouTubers. <laughs> I was with three graces. It was uh, Lucy, Lydia, Hobby, me and Jack. And we sat on their balcony and it was honestly the loveliest. I am a bit worse for wear today, I cannot lie. You could probably see from my little flushed face. I'm actually not feeling too bad. I tend to have hangovers from hell because I beat myself up and get crazy anxiety as well. But I actually had such a chill, lovely evening. I've not actually got that much anxiety, which is good. Then I'm gonna run to the shop and get me and Charlie some lunch. I'm thinking maybe like 
Spanish omelet kind of vibe. Oh, I'm well excited to see Charlie and Sersh. That'll be so nice. <laughs> Okay, you're going back in the cupboard for this one too. <laughs> Charlie just came over and we sat on the roof and just, it was so nice. The sun was roasting hot. I fully think this arm has got a tan now. It was so lovely, just so nice. And now Saoirse is on her way and we're gonna have a nice time. I think I might make us some coffees, some iced coffees. I feel like that's a nice vibe. It's like 4 p.m., sun is out. It feels really strange to have people over even though obviously like, they're not in, but I am hosting. It, it's like really odd. It's great though. It feels really natural and I've missed it so much. It's interesting what people have missed during all the lockdowns because initially the stuff I missed in lockdown one was like going to restaurants, going to pubs, you know, all of that stuff. And going on holiday was a huge one. Now it's like almost, sorry, there's so many flies in here because I've left the windows open. By lockdown three, the things that I was actually missing were just seeing my friends. Like I could boil everything down to just seeing my friends. And to have that back, I literally feel like my, my world's back again. Like it feels so amazing. The final thing that will make me feel like everything's normal again is being able to hug my parents. That will be huge. And being able to hug my sister as well. So like, I feel like those are the things that really actually mattered to me. And I just, it took me so many lockdowns to work out like, those are the things that actually really make my life feel full. And to be able to have that back is just so nice. How long do we think we've been waiting for this to arrive? <laughs> Hours. Hours, and I am. So excited. And we are back in the kitchen a day later. The same spot in the kitchen, because this camera has not left. It is Sunday, and I have a good feeling about today. Birds are chirping, the sun is shining. I'm a little puffy-faced gal. Probably from all the salt from the Indian last night, we had an Indian meal that was delicious. And then I went to bed at 10.30. Big adult moon. I hate how sore my voice sounds every morning. I sound like I've been on like a bender every day when I wake up. So yeah, today, this morning, I've got to finish the edit for the video that's going out today. And then I am going to meet Ellen and Hazel. You know Hazel, Hazel Hayes. And Ellen is our lovely friend, Ellen. I call her Smellin. I don't think she wants me to call her Smellin on the vlog. I always need to wash my little hairs. I still need to work out how to style the nice Leo fringe. I just don't know what to do with it. Michelle did it so well the day I got it and now I just can't seem to recreate it and I'm a bit like, oh fuck, have I fucked this? Um, you can watch me do my, do my toast. This is today's bread of choice. This is the uh, Warburton gluten-free cob. I got it discounted to a whole 2 dollars for £3.55. That is how expensive gluten-free bread is. I, anyone who thinks going gluten-free for health reasons is a good idea, as in like to like lose weight or to be healthier, it just isn't. <laughs> it's so expensive and I, goodness knows what's in this that's making it look and behave like bread but it's not natural. Okay, sorry, let me, let me pass some bread up. Do you know what was really nice yesterday? I completely forgot to film with Sersh. I don't know how I managed to forget to film with her, but um, I made her an iced coffee and actually she said it was the best iced coffee she's ever had in the house. And I just, thank you, Sersh. I have nice coffee too. Can I talk you through my coffee? Aviva and I tried quite a few coffees during the many lockdowns we've had. And this is one of our favorites. This is Union Roasters, uh, Garja Mountain, I think. It just smells really good. We tried quite a few from them and it's like really like deep and rich. I'm trying to explain this without it sounding bad, but like in America, they always have really great coffee. There's something about the smell of the coffee in America that's really nice and it smells like American coffees or like when you walk into a diner and they've always got like the hot coffee like on the, on the thing. So some people that will put them off, but it is really nice. Does this not sound like a coffee for me? Notes of grapefruit, chocolate truffle, and molasses. Anyway, it's our favorite. So I bought some for here. I get through coffee so slowly now I don't live with a viva. It makes me sad. Jack doesn't drink coffee. That's a lie. Jack used to love coffee. He quit it because the caffeine was not doing him any favors. So he quit all caffeine. And um, now he will have an iced decaf coffee, maybe in the summer. Why do I always do the big talking clips when I look like this? Do I go iced? Yeah, I think I'd like an iced coffee today. I also keep my coffee in the fridge because I'm a responsible adult now. I'm literally just holding one of the ice cubes because it doesn't fit right now. So this is what my little iced coffee looks like so far and I'm just gonna milk it. You've only seen me use real milk in the past two videos and I'd just like to clarify, I do not really ever 
buy this. I bought this yesterday because my friend Charlie came over, as you know, and I knew we weren't drinking and I knew he loves a coffee, like a proper coffee. And I know he likes real milk. So I bought real milk, whoop, for him. And then he didn't want a coffee. And now I have a thing of real milk and I've run out of almond. So we're on some real today. I find it a bit too rich, but I would rather drink it than waste it. Anyway, this is my little coffee. Cheers. Happy Sunday. Oh. Oh. Ah, life is good. To what extent am I gonna watch this through and edit this entire bit down into like a little bit? I truly don't know if I will. I'll probably, I'll put a little clip of me in doing my edit. Ah, I'm so social now, but I'm loving my life. <laughs> you look great. Oh my God, you're reading Norwegian Wood. I got I halfway am, through and stopped, but it. it's really good, right? I have already drunk a whole wine. <laughs> <laughs> Here she comes. Oh, here it is. Yeah. You're channeling big breakfast club vibes. I'll take that. Yeah, I love that. It's cute. So Ellen and I ordered chips. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of I stand by my decision. <laughs> 